Hey guys, I'm Elliot. This is Everything Elliot. It's snowy outside and behind me is the third biggest dead tree I have in my yard. It's a giant ash and as you can see from all the bark coming off of it, it's pretty dead. It's been dead for about two years now and it's time to come down. Figured uh, no better time to do it than in the winter time. So what the plan is, is we're actually going to take that tree and we're going to drop it that way into the woods. That way any broken sticks and stuff that fall off go into the woods, land in the woods, and I don't have to clean them up. Then what we're going to do once it's down, I'm going to cut it into logs and I'm going to back my tractor up here and drag the logs out of the woods. Hopefully that all goes according to plan and I'm sure we're going to find out shortly. The only thing I'm worried about is with dropping it that way, it's got this big branch over here that's going to want to pull the tree that way. Now there is nothing around here that I have to worry about it falling on. So if it starts going the wrong way, I just got to make sure I'm out of the way. So I've already got everything over here. Uh, just using the Holstvorma 372 XP. I have sharpened it. The last time I used it was the time that I was cutting firewood logs with it and uh, broke the golden rule and started cutting some dirt. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out just to show you what this saw can really do. Got some wedges, sledge, and uh, we're gonna start by cleaning all this stuff up that's around it. We'll get a uh, cut out of it and see what happens. Now, I'm not the most experienced tree cutter, but I know enough to be dangerous. So today we're gonna be wearing our helmet because a lot of these branches do fall. A lot of them are in my yard already. So I'm gonna wear the helmet just in case something comes down. Um, some goggles and some ears. She's moving. That's snowing on me.
Come on, baby. Well, it fell. Nobody got hurt. And it fell the way I wanted to. So not my best cut, but it did the trick. The tree fell where it was supposed to, and now we'll be able to start processing this. This has been dead for so long that I'll be able to actually throw this right in the wood burner that heats my house. So next step is gonna be get some of this stuff cleaned up. I'm still gonna need the saw. I'm gonna ditch the helmet and get my uh, headphones out so I can listen to some tunes. And I also don't need my wedges. Well, I'll probably keep a couple of them out in case it gets the saw gets jammed up. But let's, uh, we'll get the tractor first, get this cleared, and then we'll get to trying to pull this out. I'm gonna use my Rugged Made Long Tongs. Uh, I've used them before, they work great. I use them on my buddy Nick's tractor, so this will be the first time using them on my tractor, but I assume they'll work the same. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out. I'll put a link up top for you to check it out. I've got everything cleaned up. Tractor's idling there, warming up. So I got a yard here cleaned up. I've got the tree all limbed. It is still full length except for the very top. And I've got my rugged made log tongs hooked up to it. I'm gonna see if the tractor has enough traction to pull this tree out of here, or if I'm gonna have to cut it up in sections. So let's find out together. Talk about impressive. 47 horsepower tractor. I don't know, probably, this thing's probably 40, 50 feet long. Maybe a little longer, maybe 60. The top is still over there and there's still another log for me to pull out, but I got the big one out. That was the important one. In the next video I'll be doing, I'll probably be bucking this up and uh, throwing it through the splitter, which I'll probably be doing in the next couple days here, because this should be ready to burn. So we'll get an idea of 
It's been standing dead for about two years. And then once we split it up, I'll throw my moisture meter in it. We'll be able to tell. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the rugged made log tongs. Not a bad outcome. Got everything out. I'm gonna split it right here, load it in my toast right here, and be ready to rock and roll. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I've got a bunch of other videos of me cutting wood, dragging them out and stuff like that. Make sure you check them out. You might find something you like, you might not. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Only like 1%, 1.8% of you are subscribed that watch my videos. And if you're watching it, it would help me out if you subscribed. And it sounds like I'm begging, but I am. But that's neither here nor there. Until the next video, hope you guys have a great day.